Shady here and today I'm bringing you an Infernity decklist so I wanted to make an Infernity decklist for a long time but I had zero uh, Infernity support cards so I have to farm for all and use all my gems to make uh, to open the box for the arch and the, the, the launchers and yeah it's it's basically been a, a long time just to get the Infernity cards for the deck so yeah but yeah, this is a deck I was really hyped for. I love Infernities since I started playing um, ECG three months ago. So yeah, this is um, a deck that I really was hoping we get on Duel Links. Uh, so uh, for a deck list, one Archfiend. This is a Searcher uh, on your Handless Combo. This is what will make you loop. Uh, so you can just. Spam level 6 synchros and go for an Onimaru with 6000 attack. Um, double Infernity Mirage. This is just to special summon uh, your monsters from the grave. Uh, one Infernity Beetle. This is just because it's a level 2 Infernity uh, tuner. A triple Winged Karibo to stall. Um, it's a really good card to stall. Uh, most people just attack into your monster. If they destroy your monster, you, pro you protect for a turn. Um, one copy of Cosmic Cyclone to get rid of back row, but you can play Spiritualism. Let me just. So, this is. See, since this is a OTK deck, you can play Spiritualism instead because. And, like, most time this is really better than Cosmic Cyclone because it can't be negated. So, like, you can't really negate. Spiritualism and can negate Cosmic Cyclone if they have back row 2, but yeah, a really good card to play. A double Infernity Launcher, this is just like Mirage, it special summons from the grave, and if you have a monster, Infernity monster st stuck in your hand, you can just discard with the effect and go for your for your handless combo. Um, double Trunade to return all uh, back row your opponent has, so you can go for the OTK. Uh, Flute of Summoning Karibo, this is really good because it will special summon your Karibo which will uh, st stall y your turn so you can then pop off and uh, it thins out the deck while doing so, so it's a um, really good card, only playing two. Um, one Heat Wave, like this is a really nuts first uh, when you're going first because most decks Except if you're playing against Dark Magician, they completely uh, need uh, effect monsters uh, to activate their effect. Even Blue Eyes, which is uh, which has blue, uh, blue Eyes White Dragon, is a normal monster. It requires the stones and everything to just special summon him. So this negates any effect monster. It's really strong. Or even if like you. Your opponent is playing like Metaphys, uh, they like to play Kytroid. If they have an open field, which Metaphys has a lot of times, and they have Kytroid, you can activate it if you already have your monster on field, like you attack, they Kytroid you, go next turn, they still have open field, and then you want to attack uh, on that turn, activate this during your main phase, they can't activate Kytroid. GG. So. Um, uh, yeah, this is a really nuts card to go first turn. Uh, double Infernity Break, this is just because I have space, because I only have 2 Infernity Launcher and 2 Mirage. This is search searchable with Archfiend. You basically get a, a pop, pop out any card on your, on your opponent's side, um, just by banishing the, like a Launcher from the graveyard that you use on your combo. So. Uh, it's a good card to have uh, if you have the space. If you have more Mirages or Launchers, just get rid of this and play more. No, but I have the space, so I'm playing too. And Triple uh, Hallowed Life Barrier. So, this is a really great card to st stall. Even if they try to Cosmic Sac clone your back row, you just activate, card a card, and you take no battle damage for the rest of the turn.
really good stall into your um, your uh, turn for the pop off. Uh, one uh, for the synchros we're playing one black rose dragon because we're playing Kuribo. If they don't attack it, we're gonna be stuck with a level one on the field. So you have to have a level seven synchro, and black rose is the best for for that to basically just get rid of anything your opponent has on the field and open the field for Onimaru. So yeah, black rose the basically the best. Uh, card to play if you're going for uh, the Wing Karibo version. Uh, one Coral Dragon, uh, this is just the level 6 Synchro that is a tuner, and uh, when you use um, him and Stardust, you're gonna dr uh, draw one card when you spe uh, special summon uh, Synchro summon this, and then when you, with your Coral, you're gonna discard the card that you just draw to destroy a card on the field and go then go for Animaro. So uh, we it's a really good card. He has another effect for you to draw if this guy is sent to the graveyard. Don't activate it. Most of the times you're gonna get uh, Wing Karibo, for example. And you, you if you have a, a launcher on your hand on the field or if you have a break, it's useless after after you after that. So uh, don't activate the don't activate the effect. You you may may break most of the time. Uh, may break most of the time. Sorry. Um, Bryonek is a rare synchro summon to play. Uh, like it's rare in the um, in the sense that you're not gonna use them much. It's um, like uh, imagine you set an Infinity Archer, and they just set a card and pass. You have a beetle, you summon, go for Bryonek, and then you discard all cards that don't matter that are in your hand. So you can go to your combo. Like it's a good card, but that's not a card that you're gonna see much time, uh, uh, most of the time. Stardust Charge War is just to combo with Coral. I'm gonna show you the combo layer on the uh, Dual Links meta test test deck feature. So HTS Psyme, this is really good card, especially when uh, Element Sabers are on the um, meta. Um, Luna Lights have just disappeared, but you uh, fight them sometimes, and uh, since they can't get destroyed, the only way to uh, get rid of them is with Psyimuth to um, go get, uh, battle them and banish both both him and the the, the Cockatus to open the field. So really good card, and Onimaru is just to summon with Coral and Stardust to make a level 12, 6000 attack monster. So yeah, this is the deck I'm gonna sh uh, up on Duel Links meta and show you some, some plays. Okay, so now we're on Duel Links meta website, so I'm gonna show you the, the combo. So you basically just need a Mirage and either Archwind or Beetle and any like two cards, so for example these two can work, but I'm gonna show you with the Beatles because it, uh, the Archfiend or Beetle because it's just two cards for the combo. But you can do uh, if it's not the Archfiend, you can have other two cards for the combo to work. Okay, so activate the skill. This is just I'm using it a card because I don't have the pro version of Duel Links, so uh, Duel Links meta. So I'm gonna act, uh, use this to represent the skill. So activate the skill. I'm gonna discard this and send this to the graveyard, okay? So this is just full set, just your plays are all set up, now we're gonna loop. Activate this, special summon both Archfiend, Beetle, you're gonna draw, um, add a, a search I think, I mean, you're gonna add a um, launcher, now you're gonna synchro this into Coral, it's important to make Coral first, Okay, so now you activate this. Archfiend Beetle come back. Um, gonna activate, you're gonna search for another one. Now you're gonna synchro these two. Special summon this, now you're gonna draw. Gonna use this effect, discard, destroy monsters upon, uh, a card your opponent controls. 
Then Synchro this two into Animaru. And this is just treated as a 6000 attack monster while on uh, while attacking. So a 6000 monster. Uh, and when you do the synchro, don't activate the Corolla effect. Don't. Most, uh, so, because if you activate it, most of the times you can't act, uh, do what I'm gonna do next. So now, if for example, imagine they have a Cockatus or a Luna Lightsaber Dancer, you're gonna activate. Get the Arshin, get the Beetle, activate so we can search. Add a break, set the break, and synchro this into. Aim. So now, turn one, you have a 6000 attack monster. Uh, um, I mean, um, on the um, on your turn, uh, turn three. I mean, off of two um, two cards and the skill, you have a 6000 attack monster, a Psy Emoth that can take out a Cockatus or a Saber Dancer, and an Infinity Break that can destroy any card on your opponent's turn. So. A really good combo. So uh, I'm gonna do some some test ends so you can search. So um, let's see. Uh, this end maybe is set that or just set this and uh, keep this in the hand. Pass. They destroy it. So you will protect for a turn. You draw. Now if they have back row, you activate this. Uh, you activate the skill that this and you have your plays and you're gonna end with uh, two inf uh, infinity breaks on the on your board which is really good so yeah this one is good now okay so this end maybe set both they attack, um, if they Cosmic Cyclone this one, it's okay, if they don't have more Cosmic Cyclones, it goes to the grave. They attack, you activate, Special Summon Corrivo in defense position. They attack it, that's fine, if they don't, let's assume they don't. Good, you draw. I'm gonna activate a skill, guard this. Yeah, and this, because it's absolutely needed. This, this. Wait. This, this. And you black, uh, uh, you're gonna search, obviously. I'm sure. But instead of going straight for the level six, black rose the field. That's why I really didn't care that much to send the, to the, this to the graveyard. Black Rose of Field and then you go for your other place. Just one more test end. Okay, so... Uh, if you're going first, just set and chill. If you're going second... That bo uh, no, if you're going first, set this. Going second, at both. If they go, if they're going, you're going second. If they may may have a back row, they can red get rid of this. So don't just have this on the board. Most times, not good. So both these. Imagine they attack. Okay, you're protected. Draw. You activate your skill. This, this. This, this. When you have Mirage and Launcher in your hand, you always want to send a Mirage to the graveyard if you need, because the Mirage you can only activate one per turn because it's a normal summon. Launcher you can activate multiple times, so just sacrifice the Mirage so you can keep your play going. You go for a plays and you have game, so yeah, really good deck. Um, really consistent, it will be more consistent if I had 3 launchers and 3 mirage, but I don't have. But yeah, really good deck, it works really well, it's what I, I was waiting for 
the past three months to come. So I'm gonna leave you guys with the replays. Um, drop a like if if you enjoyed this decklist. Comment what you want to see next. Subscribe if you're new and see ya.